Now the question is let E and F be two matrices such that I minus E F is invertible and G is inverse of this matrix. Then we know that G into I minus E F is equal to I minus E F into G and it will be equal to I. So we can write G minus G E F will be equal to G minus E F G and it should be equal to I. Now we compare these two then we can have this result C which is E F G is equal to G E F. Now if we look at this option A it is I minus F E into determinant of F G E. Now this is determinant of I F E into determinant of F E into determinant of G. Now from this first one, if we take this determinant, we can write determinant of I minus E F into determinant of G, it is equal to one. So this is equal to determinant of F E. That means this option A is also correct. Now we we'll look at this option B. If we multiply it, we can write I minus F E plus F G E and then minus F E into F G E. We know that we can write E F G S G minus I. So we write E F G S G minus I. So it will be I minus F E plus F G E minus F and this is G minus I into E. So it will be I minus F E plus F G E. Now this is F G E and plus F E. Now this F E will cancel. F G will also cancel. So this is equal to I. That means this option B is also correct. Now we look at this option D. It is 1 minus F E minus F G E plus F E F G E. Now again we write E F G S G minus I. So it will be 1 minus F E minus F G E and this F and E F G S G minus I into E. So it will be 1 minus F E minus F G E minus F E. Now F G will cancel 1 minus 2 F E. That means this option D is incorrect. So the correct options are A, B and C.